this is Scott from Ride It Rich It. Today we're going to show you the uh, installation process of putting a new clutch and brake lever on uh, 2015 Street Glide Special. Okay, when you get the package, I'm just going to open it up and kind of show you what it comes with. I've already cut the tape on it. So you got your two, your two levers um, and you get a pack of, of parts. In this, when you open this up, just be real careful because there's two small snap rings that you're going to want to make sure that you use as well as the pivot pins that go with each side. Okay, the first thing we've got to do, we're going to do the, the brake side first, is we come down here under the uh, pivot pin that goes uh, through the control housing and out to the top that holds your brake lever on. And there's a, a, a small snap ring under there. So I'm going to use some snap ring pliers. You just stick them in there, pull it off and get your snap ring off. Okay, once you get the snap ring out off, um, you could take and just push with your finger at the bottom of that pivot pin and pull your pivot pin out. We've well, still got to take the, uh, the control housing apart. So you'll just get your, uh, your torques in there. There's a bolt on the top and a bolt on the bottom and you'll take those out. Okay, so once you get the two bolts out, I'm just gonna take the uh, front off, just slide it straight off. The back won't come off yet because it hits the clutch lever. So in order to get the back off, you gotta come around to the front and you gotta take the whole master assembly or master cylinder assembly off with these two bolts. And that will allow this to separate and give you access to your uh, brake, brake handle. Okay, so I took the bolts out. I'm holding it while Margaret got the camera. So now you can take the front piece off. Stick it in my pocket for now. And then we can pull, I'm trying to get out of the way of the camera. And we can pull this whole assembly off like that. And this will come off and hand it to her. And then you can just pull this out and we're ready to put the new lever on. Okay, first thing we're gonna do with the new lever is we're gonna put a little bit of grease in that little recess. And then I'm also gonna take just a little bit I'm just using a multi-purpose grease and I want to put it in the top part of the hole where the pivot pin is going to go. And then as I push the pivot pin down, uh, that grease will work through there. I'm just going to wipe the excess off here from around it. There we go. So now we've prepared the, basically the brake handle for installation. So now we're going to put it on. I had to move my mirror forward because, um, which you may have to do if you got mirrors, I had to put mirrors on because of my, uh, my 10 inch apes. Uh, couldn't see by stock ones. So we're going to put this on. That recessed area that we that we greased is going to go right onto that little uh, pin right there. And then this decorative part is going to slide into the front right here that covers this whole area. So we're just going to take it. We're going to slide it in. Kind of hold it up. Take your pivot pin. And you'll have to work it work it in there. Wiggle it around until it goes all the way through. Okay, so while you're holding this, um, you're going to install the back of the control housing onto this, onto the uh, the uh, controls themselves. There's a couple little tabs down here. This right tab, hopefully you can come under here with the camera, and you'll see these two little tabs on that um, that mounting area. When you put this on, you're going to put those two tabs from the housing in between those tabs at the bottom. Just like that. And then if you come to the top, now it will just just roll right onto it. Okay, that's kind of critical. Because the next thing you gotta do, come over here to the, the back. So we gotta put this on. And there's a tab back here that fits into this notch that's on your brake master cylinder. So you'll take that now at the same time you're doing that, you're going to want to kind of push this in a little bit because there's a there's a there's a button on the very inside right there that you're going to want to make sure that this clears, that your brake handle clears. So if you just grab it, push it in a little bit, line up that tab. There you go. Now that now that's on, and then we then while you're holding it, this is where it gets kind of hard. It, it helps if you have help, but I've I got to do this and have a video recorded at the same time. So while you're holding it, then you'll grab your. Uh, okay, I had to stop the video there because I had the piece in my pocket. So while you're holding it, then you'll grab the front piece of this, and you're going to get it bolted back on. 
to hold it in place. Okay, so when, when you get those bolts on, I cleaned it up a little bit, washed my hands. Um, this is how you'll adjust like the height of your, your brake handle for comfort. I know where mine is because of my uh, my master cylinder line. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and tighten it up from this point here. And these actually are two of the bolts that are on my uh, common points that come loose from riding. And it's interesting because when I took the top one off, um, it was loose. All right, so now the whole, the, the whole assembly is together. Your brake handle's on at this point. So now we just got to put the decorative cover on the front of this. And we still have to put the uh, snap ring onto that pivot pin. And we'll take the cover and just easily slide it straight on. It's actually probably the easiest part of this whole job. And then tighten it from the back, both, both top and bottom bolt. Okay, so we're going to take our snap ring now that comes with the, uh, with the new uh, clutch and brake handle. And I'm just going to put it on to the uh, snap ring pliers first. There we go. And then we're going to come up here. And wait for that to focus. And we're going to... i got to try to do this without my hand getting in the way. S stick it on there. Make sure it's seated all the way. It'll spin real good. You can push on the pivot pin. Make sure it doesn't come out. And then you'll know it's seated as well. Spin it. And there you go. Okay, so there's a new brake handle. Um, we didn't have to uh, drain the master cylinder or do anything that's going to cause air to get into the line to have to bleed. Uh, so you got good. You still got your brake. And uh, let's go ahead and do the hydraulic clutch side next. Okay, so for the hydraulic clutch side, it's a lot easier. All we have to do is remove the snap ring on the bottom and take the pivot pin out, and then we can just pull the clutch handle off. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Take our snap ring pliers, take the snap ring off. Then we can move up here, pop the pivot pin out, and pull your lever out. Okay, as with the other side, we're going to prepare this. Uh, I'm just putting a little bit of uh, multi-purpose grease in the hole. And then when the pivot pin goes through, that'll work its way down through it, and uh, it'll be lubricated. Just wipe it off, the excess off. So we now we take our clutch lever. Slide it in, slide it back. Take your pivot pin, which is comes with the uh, the kit. This side's considerably bigger than the other side. You gotta wiggle that around sometimes to get it in. Slide it in until it snaps. Okay, so we gotta put the snap ring on now. So we're gonna put it on our snap ring pliers. Then we're gonna bring it up underneath the bike. I'm gonna try to keep my fingers out of the way again. It's not easy. There we go. Snap ring it on. You can twist it to make sure it's it's seat seated, which it was not, but now it is. Push your pivot pin up to make sure that it's seated. Okay, so that's the process of putting on the uh, hydraulic clutch uh, handle. Hydraulic clutch handle is different from a uh, a uh, regular cabled clutch handle. Uh, because obviously you've got a cable that you've got to uh, work a barrel into to get it on. So there's a, that's a whole different process. Uh, but you can replace it pretty easily without using any of the brake fluid that's in the hydraulic clutch line. Yes, it does use high, uh, dot four brake fluid. Uh, so you don't have to bleed it. You don't have to even take it off. It doesn't affect uh, anything by changing this to give you a nice personalized look to the handlebar area of your bike. Well, that was a process of changing your hydraulic clutch handle and your brake handle on your uh, 2015 Street Glide Special. Uh, just another little customization option that, you know, one of the reasons we buy bikes is we want to work on them and do cool things to personalize them. So I hope you enjoy the video and be sure and uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also for more uh, riding tips or, or stories and, and maintenance tips, uh, visit my website at RideItWrenchIt.com.